Here's to the hikers. Here we have Woodstock. Where are you from, Woodstock? I'm from Huntsville, Alabama, man. Roll Tide. All right. What's your favorite piece of gear? Uh, I wouldn't really consider it gear, but it's a Bluetooth speaker that I've towed it up the trail. I did have one that weighed about eight pounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and carried that to Parisburg and decided to upgrade or downgrade uh, the one that weighs about two pounds, but I got to have my music, man. So my speaker is my favorite piece of gear. Aww. Yeah. What is your favorite meal or snack on trail? Do they call them jailhouse or prison burritos. What is that? Uh, it's pretty simple. You take ramen, crush it up, put it in the bag, take Cheetos, Doritos, any kind of chip that has cheese in it, crush that up, mix it in with your ramen, and you can put summer sausage in that bad boy. You can put <laughs> any kind of meat in that bad boy. I'm talking about just whatever. Pickles, whatever you want to put in there. You just throw it in there. You mix it all up, put a little hot water, massage it together. And when it hardens up and locks up, the cheese will lock it up. It comes out looking like a log of just goodness. It looks pretty nasty. Uh, but your body's going to give itself a high five the next day. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel great about life. And you can honestly say that you have eaten something that people in jail and prison have eaten. And you don't have to go to jail and prison to eat it. Oh yeah. my. That's right. my go-to out here. I live on them things. All right. And then what's your most memorable moment on trail? Wow. Uh, I would say probably my first time on the AT, which was three years ago. Uh, the first night I ever stayed at the Mount Camerer Fire Tower. Mm. Uh, it's about six tenths of a mile off of the AT in the Smoky Mountains before you get out of the Smokies if you're going north like seven miles. Mm -hmm. um, it's just magical, man. You're like 5,200 feet above sea level. There's a little catwalk around the fire tower. You go in there, you stay the night, and you're just 5,200 feet on the edge of the earth overlooking like 20-something miles of valley. And it is absolutely magical. Every time I come through there, I stay. Mm -hmm. And I never disappoint. So uh, a lot of people pass it by. <laughs> Not this brother right here. I will <laughs> never pass by the Mount Cameron Fire Tower. All right. Well, yeah. thank you, Woodstock. Yeah, thank you all. Y'all have a blessed day. Here's to the hikers. Here we have Socrates. Hey, Socrates, where are you from? I am from Arizona. And what's your favorite piece of gear on trail? Uh, I think currently my sleeping pad. Um, I'm a side sleeper and it's worked real well for me. Uh, it's made pretty light, but also uh, it's the uh, Neo Air X Therm, so it's pretty warm too, nice. which has been important earlier in the year. Yeah. And favorite food on trail? Um. I mean, I think I look forward to just making uh, my coffee with breakfast essentials in the morning. Uh, not usually a coffee drinker, but for some reason that always is a pretty pleasant experience. And otherwise, food is just like fuel. I don't even taste it half the time, <laughs> even if it is a Snickers bar. <laughs> and most memorable moment? Um, so my most memorable moment was probably right after the climb out of Irwin. Uh because that day it was pretty much supposed to rain all day. Uh, I had been hiking into the afternoon. I was pretty ready to stop, but it was still raining. So I figured I'd keep going until I found a break in the weather. Uh, I came across this road and there was uh, Miss Janet, the trail angel, just sitting in her van on the side of the road. Um, I guess she was waiting for uh, another lady who was doing a slack pack. So I walked up and said, hi. And, uh, the weather started getting worse, so she told me to jump in the van, and I went up with her to the spot where she was uh, picking up her slack packer. Uh, as we were picking her up, the weather just got really bad really fast, and we're talking hail. It it felt like you were running through a car wash. There was so much <laughs> rain. I was a little uh, worried that it wasn't even safe to be driving because I didn't know how well she <laughs> could see. Um, and at that point, she was just like, I'm gonna take you home and bring you back to the trail tomorrow. Uh, and an hour later, I was watching wrestling in Irwin. <laughs> wow, lucky to meet Miss Janet. Yeah. Thanks for chatting to us, Socrates. No problem. Here's to the hikers, here we have. A cat. Hey cat, good to see you again. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Massachusetts originally. Yeah. Yeah. And what's your favorite piece of gear on trail? Um, I, it's gonna sound like an ad, but probably my Appalachian uh, gear company 
hoodie. It's made of alpaca and it never smells. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's been a really, really popular answer um, yeah. when we've been interviewing people. Um, and favorite food? Uh, whenever I can get fruit. Yeah. Yeah. That's always a treat. And most memorable moment on trail? Um, that is hard, but I guess I, I really enjoyed yesterday because I can remember that far back. Um, because I'm in the Shenandoahs, I've been going on Skyland Drive and, and walking on the overlooks a lot. And yesterday I, I stopped at a wayside and grabbed a coffee and walked a bunch of miles on the road. And there were a bunch of views. And I was listening to Freddie Mercury. <laughs> and then I stopped at another wayside and I got another coffee and I continued walking. So. <laughs> That, that was a really good time. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All really good to see you again. Yeah. Yeah, you too. See ya. <laughs>